Technology has brought about some significant changes in the news and media landscape. With artificial intelligence powered chatbots like ChatGPT taking over the headlines and people's time and attention, it is important to ask questions such as what does this mean for journalism and misinformation in today's day and age? Making quality headlines, ChatGPT learned how to write by examining millions of pieces of writing on the internet. ChatGPT can write anything be it letters, song lyrics, research papers, essays, even software code. When asked to write a limerick, ChatGPT responded, There once was AI so grand, it could help us with tasks at hand, but it also might do harm if its actions lack charm, so we must use it with care and command. Let us get into conversation with Raju Narsetti, publisher at McKinsey Global Publishing. Hi, Tanushka. Happy to be here. Oh, I'm a fan of uh, ACJ, so always happy to be there. Thank you so much, sir. So without any more ado, could you kickstart the segment by telling us what makes the generative AI chat GPT so unique with the human-like responses and how is it different from other AI? I think it's a, it's a step function in what we have thought AI could do but ha has a big viral moment to it, right? In the sense that each one of us can fully understand, we can play with it and get results that we are very impressed with. So I think this is the beginning of a fairly rapid revolution in uh, this technology and the, and the tools that it provides us. I mean, there is always going to be the so-called dark side of new technology, uh, in part because all AI is based on Standing, which but at the end of the day, um, you know, uh, technology um, has value, but it doesn't have values. So uh, one has to be careful. The brainchild of OpenAI, ChatGPT is now serving to be a problem of deliberate misinformation. Experts worry that people will use the software to flood social media with phony articles that sound the genuine. The first woman just president of the United States, one. Hillary Rodham Clinton, served as the 45th president of the United States from January 20th, 2017 to January 20th, 2025. I think it's, uh, it's a bit of a misnomer to look at AI as the start of misinformation. Misinformation has been around as long as the information is problems and to fix them rather than say that a piece of technology or a platform should be 100% error free because there is nothing that humans do that is ever error free, right? Students are already using chat GPT to cheat for good grades. This is worrisome for the education sector worldwide. Check this out, check this out. Sabi ko dito, write me a 500 word essay proving that the earth is not flat. Firstly, is this affecting, you know, the education sector? Our education models and systems have always been playing catch up to technology, right? I'm sure when the calculator came, there was a huge outcry saying that we cannot allow this to be used because the, how, how are kids ever going to learn math, right? But I think the way to think about these tools, especially if you're an educator, is is it freeing up the student to apply their brain to kind of thinking about more deeper questions rather than creating something from, you know, or just like writing something for the sake of writing, right? So I think that's where you can think of AI and all these tools as enablers. ChatGPT is a tool that can be used for a variety of purposes, both positive and negative. It is important for society as a whole to have ongoing conversations about the responsible development and deployment of AI technology. So I hope you all are all geeked out on the new technology information, ChatGPT. You are watching India This Morning with camera person Diksha Sharma. This is Tanushka Dutta signing off.
uh, it's a bit of a misnomer to look at AI as the start of misinformation. Mm -hmm. Misinformation has been around as long as there's been information in the world, right? Yeah. Hundreds of years. So I don't think that's the way to look at it. So the question is, do you have enough systems to identify problems and to fix them rather than say that a piece of technology or a platform should be 100% error-free because there is nothing that humans do that is ever error-free, right? 